This is one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to stress. It's often thought that we're stressed because we're doing too much. And stress is not about doing too much. It's about doing too little of the things that make you feel alive. And I've learned this firsthand and I've seen this in myself and so many people that I work with that it's not about how much you're doing, how active you are, how busy your schedule is. It's about what those elements of your life bring to you. And when we're doing too little of the things that bring us joy and allow us to move in a direction that feels alive to us, that's when our system experiences stress. And I can think about, you know, a few years ago when I was working at a job that I did not enjoy, I would come home and then take care of all the things that I had to as far as you know, building the house. And it was just a super busy time for me. And I did absolutely nothing that brought me joy in that, in those moments. And that's really where I started to lose the essence of myself. I started to feel more dysregulated in that I was just doing things that left me feeling drained, that caused me to become disconnected myself and really just drained me in the process. And I can look at my life now and I would say I'm even busier now than I was back then. Now that I have two children, I am building a business, I'm hosting this podcast, I do meetings all the time. I have things that are, my schedule is pretty well packed between my own personal life and my work life. But looking at my life now, I have things that I put in my schedule that bring me joy. Like doing this, I love talking to people on my podcast. That brings me joy. And even though it's work and even though it takes up time, it fills my cup. And I can look at so many things that I do for my business to build this and it fills me up. So it's not about what you're doing, but it's about what you're doing that's making you feel alive. And if you're lacking things in your life that make you feel alive, that's when the stress comes in. So think about your life. How much time is devoted to things that you feel obligated to do, things that you should do, or you, things that you feel pressured to do? And just think about that. How much time are you spending each day doing those things? And then think about the activities that you do that make you feel alive. What are some of the hobbies that you do? Some of the things that you invest your time in and you leave and you feel refreshed, you feel rejuvenated, you feel re-energized. and energized. What are those things? And think about the time that you spend doing that. And that's really where you're going to see how stressed you are or how alive you feel. And that difference is truly where that stress comes down. The stress is ultimately our inner being craving more, wanting more from ourselves and releasing ourselves from the mundane needs that we feel obligated to do, the expectations set upon us. And while life, you know, does happen and we can't just, you know, quit our jobs, peace out and go, you know, cross country, that's not realistic for many of us. What we should be doing is focusing on just implementing a little bit more joy in our lives. And so if you have a job that you don't love, if you have obligations that you have to do, that's understandable. We can't completely flip our lives up on, on its side, but it is about those small moments where we do look within ourselves and say, what do I enjoy? What makes me feel alive? What do I like to do? And maybe you haven't asked yourself that question a long time because maybe you've put a halt to it before you even got started. Maybe you say to yourself, I don't have time to do that. How can I fit that in my schedule? That's not what I do anymore. Maybe you don't even identify with some of those things that you used to do that brought you joy. And that can be really challenging. That's one of those beliefs you have to work through. And I've had to work through to really get past that point of realizing that even though the schedule is really busy, we have to even fit those five, 10 minutes in, whatever it is that you have to start to bring in that joy in your life and start to feel more that aliveness of who the true essence of you is. And so I used to play field hockey in college. I played in high school. I played after college in an adult league. That's something that's always brought me joy and I've always loved to do. And in this time in my life, I'm not currently involved in a field hockey league and I miss it so much. 
And so the other day I took just 10 minutes, got my stick out and I just started hitting drives across the, the yard and just ran off the ball. It was just fun. And it made me feel that little spark of joy within myself of bringing me back to the times that I just truly loved playing. And while it looks different in my life now, it was just that little touch of experiencing that again, that made me feel like there's another side of me and it helped me just connect with that side, that side that really just enjoys doing things like that and just feel more alive within myself. And then that becomes a catalyst of like, okay, what else do I like to do? And it becomes this set of curiosity where you can start to look at yourself and be like, who am I? What is it that makes me feel alive? Another example is I used to write poetry all the time when I was younger. That's something I just enjoyed. It, it felt good after I wrote it and would reflect on the things I wrote. And I let that go for probably about 20 years, did not write. And that's something I'm starting to bring back into my life again of just writing when I feel inspired and letting it flow. And I really feel good after doing that. And so again, it doesn't take entirely long to bring that into my life, but it has made a huge difference in how I feel in recognizing the joys that come from that. And so I want to share this with you because maybe there's something in your life that you can reflect on and think about how much you used to do that, how much you love to do that and the joy it brought you. And maybe you have neglected that aspect of yourself for decades. And I want to share that with you because maybe that's something you need to start to feel alive again. Maybe for you, it was painting. And even if you don't have an hour a day to paint, maybe you have five minutes where you can just pull out the paintbrushes, just paint whatever you feel inspired to paint and to allow yourself to feel that again. Maybe it was running and you haven't ran in a long time. And maybe you want to just try to do that again and go out for a five minute jog because you just enjoy that. Maybe it's playing music. Maybe you have an instrument that's sitting in the basement that's been there for a long time and you're just curious about what it would be like to play that again. Whatever it is, start to allow yourself to feel those little inspirations, those joys, bring it back into your life. Because at the end of the day, we all have obligations. We all have things that we need to do within our lives. And some things we can't completely change in our lives. But if we can start to implement and bring in some of those things that feel joy, joyful to us, that's when we are going to feel less stress. That's when we start to feel more alive in ourselves. So again, stress is not about doing too much. It's about doing too little of the things that make you feel alive. And it can be so easy over the course of years and years of obligations and expectations to be in this rut where you feel like you're on autopilot. Every day you're doing the same thing. Every day you're just trying to get through that to-do list. Every day you're just trying to put out all the fires and keep up with all the things that are putting pressure on you. And that will continue every single day, every single year, and time will inevitably pass. And that is something that unless we choose to show up differently for ourselves, unless we choose to give us ourselves that time, unless we choose to recognize what it is within ourselves that feels alive, then that is the course our lives will continue to take. Because unless we become that catalyst and that life will just mold you in the way that it intends for you, rather than you intending for what you want your life to feel like. And so I hope this message helps be just that seed planted today for you to maybe just ask yourself the question of what brings me joy, what makes me feel alive. And maybe that becomes the thing that grows within you and you find the answer. And then you find five minutes where you can just start to do that. And then you feel that momentum, that aliveness within yourself, and it becomes just more natural to be like, that is going to be part of my routine. That's something I need to embrace who I am, to reconnect with myself. And so I hope that this message becomes that catalyst for you to help you start to feel more alive, to start to sense what those things are in your life that make you feel alive. And whatever that is, if it's spending time with a friend that you haven't talked to in a while, if it's a phone call with someone that you used to hang out with all the time and they make you feel so good when you chat with them, or if it's writing, or if it's 
spending time outside and just sitting in nature and just allowing yourself to be whatever it is. Give yourself that grace to just let it be what it is and notice how you feel afterwards. If you feel a little bit more whole, if you feel a little bit lighter, if you feel like a little bit more flow within your life, a little bit more inspired, then keep going in that direction. That is truly your soul yearning for more. We are creative beings. And unless we're doing something that's creative and trying to create something different in our lives and trying to experience life for what it is, then we will just inevitably continue to be more of that machine of just producing and achieving and going through the motions of life. So I hope this helps. And I hope this becomes just, again, that little catalyst to move you in a different direction today.